What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here, and uh, I thought I'd do it through this video because tomorrow's Wednesday, and tomorrow is the premiere of a show called Nashville uh, with that girl from Pierre Tierra, or whatever her name is. And I just want to say this, man. I'm from Nashville. That's my hometown. This is my hometown. This is what the sky like. And uh, I thought I'd say this because because I, I want to say this because I don't think I'm glad that my hometown's getting its own show getting a show on ABC but I don't think glamorizing it like they are man just uh whatever because one thing is they call if you if you from around Nashville everybody knows what they what they call Nashville, the Music City, and uh, I know that, and uh, that got me thinking because I was so pissed off. I was saying, "No way!" I think I it's, it's glad that Nashville's getting a show, but I don't think they should have did it the way they should have did it. It's because one thing is the the the, the city is called Music City. It doesn't say what kind of what kind of music it's just mean music like rap hip hop R&B pop music music city they call it Elvis's backyard and and it's kind of fucked up see this is where the st stereotypes come from because you got this show Nashville coming out and all this shit but they all think see this is where they always think that people from the south is nothing but redneck book tooth inbred looking motherfuckers because that's how these TV networks put up put it put us that we all we do is listen to listen to country music or go to the Grand Ole Opera House on the other side of town it's how you glamorize a city man it's how you glamorize it man talking about I can go down to Memphis and hear some soul music I can go to Kentucky and hear bluegrass. But my city is called Music City and you will hear all types of music. All types of music. And I don't think by giving a city that's well known for Music City where so many country stars got their stardom from. Like uh Dolly Parton uh Dolly Parton uh Blake Sheldon and so on and so forth. All the country music artists. But uh but you don't realize how many other people came out of Nashville came out of Nashville this didn't wasn't even in the country music category. Look at Young Buck, he came out of Nashville and he was into that rap. Look at that musical group called Silk that came out in the nineties. They was from Nashville. So this city is not just based on country music and the Grand Ole Opry. You're glamorizing it to make everybody in Nashville nothing but redneck, buck tooth, knee slapping, toe tamping, Beverly Hillbillies looking piece of shit that's uh, that's what I hate man this is like I know people from every other city across this great nation probably feels the same way probably but it's like it's like what was it uh like up in New York City they always show downtown they always show downtown New York where they had them down uh New Year's parties at in the street and, and the Macy's parade, Macy's Thanksgiving parade and stuff. I know them New Yorkers hate me because they don't show the other place, show show uh, the other side of New York. Same with the, uh, same with Miami and same with Orlando, same with kind of, uh, same with uh, Los Angeles, same with. Uh, San Francisco, San Diego, Palmdale, uh, Oakland, uh, Inglewood, places all over this nation, and 
only thing they notice, the only thing they want to show and glamorize is downtown. And you probably gonna say, well, that's what they're gonna show because they don't want to look at nobody else. They're, the reason why I don't want to show the rest of the city is because they're too much of a chicken shit to do it. And I don't think ABC should be be a stereotype and think that only people from Nashville is some redneck toe tapping country music singer. Yeah, I remember Reese Witherspoon came out from Tennessee. Samuel Jackson came out from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Chattanooga, Tennessee. And and uh, and it's kind of pissing me out because you know, you're from a city. And you want to be proud of your city. I know that. You want to be proud of where you came from. You want to be proud of your city. You want to rep You want that shit to represent you. But how can you be proud of your city if a network wants to make it make it like you make it a, a, a stereotype piece of shit? Now, every time somebody from out of town comes to this city. They gonna look at it and say, these motherfuckers don't know how to read or write. Need some country ass motherfuckers around here. They're like fucking pigs and animals and all that shit. They ain't nothing but some hillbillies. They ain't. They're inbred. Just because that's how NBC, ABC wants to show the world. And I think that's kind of fucked up that some uh, showing the city in a stereotype way. Like I don't want to go to California and think everybody on that, everybody in that steak is nothing but plastic. But that's how they do. That's how these networks work. They want to be a stereotype that every woman in California has got implants in the titties, lips, ass, legs, whatever. Same down in Florida. They want to glamorize Florida. They can go down and have fun. Ain't no, 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 no. Party all the time in Florida. Think about it. Look at New Jersey. Ever since the Jersey Shore came out, what has happened? Everybody thought the people out of New Jersey was nothing but a tan spraying. Laundry mat going. Gym workout. Juice head. They were thinking it was nothing but Jersey Shore people up in New Jersey. Because how they glamorize and stereotype. And I hate this. I hate how... Because <laughs> one thing is, if I'm going to do a show on a city, I wouldn't be going into... I I'm, wouldn't I'm go sit there and look into the background of the city when made this city so damn great. I would do more than that. If I look on, a, if I was doing a show in Nashville, and I looked and said, and if I looked at it and said, "Oh, they well known for country music and the Grand Ole Opry," because you got Dolly Parton down here, ding, 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 ding. and uh, Hee Haw was filmed down here too, and uh, and uh, and that's it. Uh, that's all they want to see. Is that country music shit? You gotta look at every other person that lives in Nashville. There's been brothers. There's been brothers out there that go to the studio. That goes to the studio every day trying to cut an album. And they go out there and trying to sell their album. Out there, so like, yeah, this booty, you know? They put they they put their hard on work hard on work into this city, into a, a demo into an album in Nashville but they, but these shows don't want to see that they want to see how redneck the people of Nashville is and I think that's wrong for them to be such a fucking stereotype that's how they want to make the people of Nashville nothing but rednecks and 
mind it's kind of fucked up how that's kind of fucked up how they look at people from Nashville it's nothing but redneck country music singing listening uh And all that shit, man, because it's kind of fucking wrong just to do that, just to glamorize some city that you don't know shit about. Just because one city has a, because this one, because this city, because this city has a background of country music, doesn't mean that's that's what this city is all about. That there's some fucking good ass people that can sing soul, rap, hip hop, R and B. Opera, and they get overlooked because that's how they want to. It just pisses me off that that's all they think about Nashville. I don't want to go to any other state that's well known for something and just think these people are nothing but dumbass motherfuckers. Because that would be me stereotyping them. So it was me stereotyping people in uh, California or in Florida or Jersey or New York or Georgia or Wisconsin or Texas or whatever they're from. Because that's what I don't, that's, 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 that's one thing I don't want to do is be a person that stereotypes people from a certain state or a certain city. Because based on what what city they're in or what state they're in, I cannot judge the people up there in Kentucky or Mississippi or Georgia or Texas or or North Carolina or South Carolina or Florida. No, I just said Florida, but sorry if I said Florida twice, then I'm sorry. But but that. That's how it is, cause I it just so wrong for them to. I just I just hate this shit, man. Cause I'm sorry if I, I don't sound. I'm sorry that I don't sound like no. More. Oh, you should be happy that your city's getting this. I am happy that my city's getting a little bit of limelight. But I thought, man, I thought the city, my hometown, would get a show where everybody can look at it in a different light instead of the same old motherfucking light that people always looked at Nashville for. It's for country music. I'm tired of that, man. There's more people with good talent in the city, but they don't want to show it, man. All this talent. Anywhere you want, because one thing is, I know you get sick and tired listening to the same old, same singers every day with the same old beat and routine song and dance shit. And I know you want to hear new music. With new music and all like that, man, because I just can't stand it where I gotta. I, uh, I just I just hate it where my my city is still gonna be looked at as nothing but a country city fucking place, and all they wanna see it is is nothing but a run a redneck city. They even think black folks are redneck in this city. That's all it is. They think they think black folks in this city is nothing but rednecks. But that's how I see it, man. I don't think giving the sh uh, city a show that's well known for country music and show the world that we're nothing but retarded hillbillies, inbred looking motherfucker, knee slapping, toe tapping, fucking animal f fucker over there banging horses in the barn. It's about enough Miley Cyrus did that shit. Like she did it, that scene out of, what was it? That scene. When she was in that show, Mount no, no uh, the movie she had, Miley Cyrus' Hair in the Montana movie, and she was doing that uh, 
uh, fighting scene in that shoe shop with Tyron Banks. There was a store out of Franklin, Tennessee, not so far from, from Nashville. <laughs> Excuse me, but and when Justin Justin Bieber did it with a Christmas song or something like that, whatever, like boyfriend, he's gay, whatever. He did the whole like that was a Christmas song, I think. Christmas or boy, that or that boyfriend song. And it was uh looked like he was downtown and it was dark and he was dancing in the street. That was that was Franklin. Downtown Franklin, but that's, that's what I'm talking about. I'm tired of this city getting looked as nothing but redneck city. Put a little bit of soul in there. Put a little bit of hip hop in there. Put a little bit of rap and R and B in it, so you can make it look like, like, just glamour. Like, don't glam it up. It's just this country music city, but glam it up with the uh, from other music, hip hop, rap, R and B, and so old school to new school. Amp it up where everybody knows that hey man there's a lot of music around that city no wonder they call it music city because there's a lot of music in that city then, then they will sit there and say now I know why Elvis loves that city you got people from back in the day that loved this city so much like look at Jerry Lee Lewis I know I know he married his 15 year old cousin but he loved this city so much so did Elvis Every type of people love coming to Nashville. Back in the day, every type of rock and roll star loved Nashville. But it's just getting to a point where people want to look at it as nothing but a country music city. But that that's how it is, man. This is a piss of me all thinking about this show that's coming out tomorrow on Wednesday. Well, the 10th of this month 10th of October is when the show comes out of old 12 no 2012 and that's stupid like I know y'all from every other like for real man I know everybody from walk from around this world getting tired of people staring stereotyping people in certain cities because what the t what TV shows glamorize. I know y'all do, man. I said, man, we're nothing like that. We're nothing like that. They glamorize and make us look bad. That show business. It's just they need to get that. They need to get down with the real people and put a spin and get down with the real people and find out what's the real deal. <coughs> Excuse me, what's the real deal of a city instead of oh, it's that was nothing but horny as people like New Orleans. All they think about is New Orleans, nothing but Mardi Gras. That's it. They think Georgia is probably for T. Oh, was it ATL with Big Boy and Outkast, Nigel 3000, CeeLo Green, House of Pain, Tyler Perry. That's it. <coughs> That's it. Excuse me about the coughing, but you see what I mean. They're glamorizing because of. Who's from there, or what kind? Of, what, what's the uh, city's history? It's just stupid, man. Just stupid, just to do this, man. At least do a show. That, at least do a show where it shows a whole walk of life. That's it. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh. This has been Afro Joe Tan like a T.I. is again. And uh, that's all I had to say was because one thing, it, it pisses me off that, to see that uh, that's how ABC sees people in Nashville. Nothing but redneck hillbillies. Nothing but redneck hillbillies. They, that's kind of sad though. That is sad to think that we're nothing but redneck hillbillies and bread looking motherfuckers. And that's fucked up. That is fucked up. You say, well, you ain't even watch the show. I don't have to watch the show. The previews told it all. That we're nothing but country music motherfuckers. Not everybody loves country. 
This has been Afro Joe 10. I can tell you how he is again. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. And uh, follow me on my Tumblr. It's going to be down in the description box. Peace, love, and Afro Grease.